Hey there and welcome. In this video I want to talk to you about more about normalization and in particular the second normal form. So a quick review on what normal forms uh, kind of look like. So we got the universe of, of possible designs, uh, relational designs is the, all the white space. Inside this circle is first normal form inside this more restrictive circle is second normal form okay and what that means is if something is not first normal form then that implies that it is not not second normal form or third normal form etc so basically if you're outside of this broader circle there's no way that you're not also outside this inner circle okay so there's that just as a review it doesn't mean we know anything about second normal form before we get into second normal form i also want to talk to you about what normalization looks to accomplish and how it relates to er diagramming okay so basically normalization is a relational design approach and so so ZRD so ZR diagramming they're both ways to to develop table plans I mean that's the that's that's kind of the bottom line here okay so let's compare and contrast them I don't know why I have this little bit of extra jump but bear with me for a second okay so in ERD what do we do we start with our component parts, right? And we, we're doing this, and we have lots of little bits, um, entities, relationships, and so forth. And so we start with these pieces, and then we look through translation to say, okay, how can we combine these pieces? And we say, okay, this is a one-to-many relationship, and because it's one-to-many and this partition, participation is full, we're going to include this. So you start small, and then you roll up. Um, and we call this um, bottom-up design. Normalization, on the other hand, is top down. And we start with everything, which sounds kind of funny, but uh, so, so that it doesn't sound funny, of course, we come up with some fancier terminology. And the fancier terminology is so we can feel like we're cool universal relation i like to feel cool at least once a month i manage to feel cool for five minutes okay and so let me let me scroll up a little bit here so we can get universal relation still in the picture what's universal relation the universal relation is basically one imagine you're putting every conceivable attribute in your problem domain in the same relation or table so you've got attribute one attribute two dot 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 attribute thirty four thousand seven hundred and forty one dot 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 all the way to attribute n uh, the final attribute and that's what you start with and then you break down so i hope you could imagine that this is a very different approach and the breakdown process is called decomposition. And normalization is a top down process as opposed to entity relationship diagram, which is bottom up. Now, the reason we don't put quite so much emphasis in this class on normalization as you might see in other database classes is because at the level we're operating at, if you do entity relationship diagramming and the translation process in the way that we've learned it in this class, you will wind up with exactly the same relational design, the same schema, the same 
tables and structure relating those tables as you would with normalization through the no third normal form. And so while I think it's very useful to look at normalization, as we mentioned before, it winds up giving you the same thing. So uh, we don't obsess too, too, too much about it. Um, that does not mean it's unimportant because it can reveal the dysfunction of bad relational design. Okay, so with that, let's jump finally, five minutes in, into the specifics of the second normal form because things get a little tricky. It's different than the first normal form, um, but let's jump right into it. Okay, second normal form is the is only relevant when there is a concatenated, I'll abbreviated PK, primary key. So concatenated primary key. So to review, when uh, can we expect uh, a primary key to exist? Under what circumstances? Just briefly, because I, I want to make sure you remember this. Uh, so we got an ER diagram like this. And of course, normalization is a opposing design perspective to entity relationship diagramming, but nevertheless, just to reflect, reflect your memory about how common concatenated or combined primary keys are. Okay, so we've got a, uh, an example entity relationship diagram that looks like this. Two entities, many-to-many -many cardinality. No matter what the translation method is, we know that we can combine the, this particular relationship with neither B nor A, but rather need to give it its own table. And, or a relation. And what is that relation going to be? It's table AB. And what will we have as this primary key? The primary keys of the both participating entities. So its primary key number is going to be both A number together with B number. And, you know, A number could be a social security number and B number could be a department number or something like that. But in any case, Every time you have this situation, you have a concatenated primary key. So I just want to impress upon you that that is by no means an unusual situation. In any case, second normal form is only an issue if you have a concatenated primary key. And very, 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 very non-technically, because we're just not going to worry about any rigor, uh, second normal form, uh, you must have no partial functional dependencies, okay? So a partial functional dependency is when there is an attribute dependent on only one part of a multi-part PK. So in this example, where we have AB relation, let me start over. So we have AB with primary key number, concatenated primary key, A number and B number together. And then we've got C and D and so forth. If B number alone, just B number, part of our primary key determines, for example, C or D, then we do not have second normal form. Okay, so let's look at a concrete example because that usually makes things a little clearer. Okay, so here we've got a works on table, similar to what you saw uh, in the homework. Only for sake of argument, we have designed it such that it would have the employee number, project number, primary key, concatenated. And so this table is designed to capture instances of a given employee working on a given project. Very reasonable to do. And it also has some additional information, the employee's name and the project name. So the punchline here, the bottom line, is this in second normal form? The answer is no. And why is that? Because employee name relates only to employee. And project name, in turn, is related only to project and is, is functionally determined by 
this part of the concatenated primary key. So here's the bottom line. A employee number functionally determines employee name. Therefore, three dot symbol, therefore, no second normal form. Similarly, project number alone without any help from employee number functionally determines project name. So we have a, these are both partial functional, functional dependencies. We've got this and this both are functional. So project number alone functionally determines project name. And therefore, once again, no to an F. So we could get rid of this one. We'd still have the problem because of project. Mm -hmm. We could get rid of project. We'd still have the problem because of employee. This, because we have these partial, these partial functional dependencies or partial key dependencies, this is no 2NF, and so we would limit it to first normal form. Thing to take away here, partial fun functional dependencies are not uncommon. We saw that through our exposure to entity relationship diagramming. The other thing to take away, if you have no concatenated keys, you have no occasion for second normal form to be violated. And there you have it. We could treat this much more rigorously, uh, but I don't see any major advantages giving our purposes. So let me know if you have any questions. Stay tuned for a similarly non-rigorous treatment of third normal form. Uh, study hard and I will see you online.